first step is adding the DSM or DTM generated by Open Drone Map into your project, followed by the colorized ortho photo. In this case, this is a color infrared. We will then create a new 3D map view. By default, it is a flat terrain. You need to choose DEM raster layer and choose your DSM. Hit OK and you will have a low quality render. I'm going to quickly go over some of the settings including the map tile precision. This is the texture resolution so the higher you set this the sharper your textures will appear. Be aware that setting it too high will adversely impact performance and may cause instability. Tile resolution is the number of samples per tile for the height. Setting it high will cause an increase in both processing load, RAM consumption, and noticeably also a much more detailed terrain view. The upper limit for this depends entirely upon your machine. I don't recommend going much higher than 2048 in most cases. Once you have an acceptable 3D view, take your DSM, move it above the ortho photo, and set it to hillshade. Change the blend mode to soft light, and hit apply. This will highlight the higher elevations and put shadowing over the lower elevations. You can change the resampling methods to cubic and increase the oversampling rate to make the image more clear and smooth, reducing some of the blocking and other artifacting due to low sample rate. As you can see, this emphasizes the terrain in a 2D view, giving you a false 3D view. Going back to our 3D view, changing it back to a DEM based raster layer uh, and adjusting it, we now have the shading combined with the actual 3D data to give a much more realistic presentation. In this instance, similar to before, you can increase your tile resolution to increase the texture fidelity and you can also increase the tile resolution uh, to increase the geometric complexity.